Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Well, we're starting off with cloud cover across the area. Here's the view from Mount Madonna where you can see above the clouds, but looking at a relatively deep marine layer. So that's going to linger at least for the first part of your day, probably until about noon for many locations. And some spots may actually linger throughout the day. Now, yesterday we saw lots of cloud cover and that stayed throughout the day in Santa Cruz. There's the view now where you can see that cloud cover. Also, someone walking on the beach there, covered up because it is a cool start, upper 50s, cool and damp in some areas, a little bit of drizzle as well. Lots of moisture out there, and here you can see those clouds extending all the way into our inland valleys, Hollister Valley up to the Santa Clara Valley, the whole Bay Area, as well as down south. So, looks like besides those high mountain tops where we've been showing the cameras, everyone else seeing that cloud cover socked in to start. Upper 50s for many locations, Soquel as well as Felton sitting at 56, and then you can see 61 in Hollister right now taking a look at the state view you can see Lake Tahoe 45 so not quite in the 30s and as chilly as it has been but still pretty cool for this time of year and we are going to be seeing temperatures in our inland valleys in the 60s tomorrow or today we will see the return of some triple digit heat but we are going to start to see a little bit of a warming trend so maybe some of you that may be visiting from Fresno this weekend okay mid 90s as we finish the weekend back to triple digit heat and next week you're going to be soaring into the triple digits so appreciate the cool air right now near the coast look at this we're going to be sitting in the upper 60s for much of the weekend for much of California's coast with the exception down south Lots of 70s to 80s. Also, want to take a look at the future cast where you can see the marine layer hanging on tight near the coast. So, yes, it is going to fluctuate back and forth around the coast for the afternoons, but for the most part, we're still going to see that lingering, kind of looming in the distance, and we're going to be seeing that throughout this weekend. So, if you have beach plans, be prepared for clouds early in the day. Peaks of sunshine in the afternoon and then by the evening hours, those clouds returning once again uh, pretty quickly and also a little bit of a breeze. So bring those layers if you are headed out anywhere near the water and then we are going to be seeing sunshine in our inland areas. Then we start to see a ridge building in and that's going to bring some warmer temperatures for the middle of the week. So until then, we're going to see pretty cool conditions below seasonable averages in the 60s, maybe some 70s near the coast, depending on that sunshine, but the clouds are going to be slow to clear in some areas, and some of those bay clouds will linger. As for inland areas, you're starting off with that overcast, but then I do anticipate sunshine by later today, mild to warm conditions and temperatures in the 70s, maybe some mid to low 80s. Heading up to the Bay Area, maybe you're heading to San Francisco, temperatures will be in the upper 60s, cloudy to start, and then some areas of sunshine. Santa Cruz Mountains, right around 80 degrees, the sun will come out a little earlier. It expected in those areas where yesterday it was slow to clear as well. And then you can see in our inland spots, lots of 80s for those warmest spots like Morgan Hill, Gilroy, perhaps King City, and then lots of comfortable 70s and sunshine and then 60s and maybe not as much sunshine around the peninsula. And then we're going to be seeing temperatures in the overnight in the 50s with clouds returning once again this evening. 60s to 70s for the first half of your week, 60s to 80s by the end of the week and into next weekend. So looking like next weekend, it's going to be a warm Warmer one, maybe more beach appropriate as this weekend. We're going to see those clouds just hanging out right around the coastline. Well, if you're not going to the beach, you can go to the Rodeo. Yes. You can go to the, uh, the Pride Parade. So many things going on. Yeah. Yes, and it's not going to be too hot here, so yeah. that's the good news. Maybe a light jacket. Mm -hmm. Always. Yes. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> that's always good advice <laughs> this time of year. <laughs> yeah. Do a thank you. Yeah.